this specific excursion was an awesome thing to do, especially because it is a bundle and it's going to allow you to do so much at a discounted price. What is going on, YouTube family? Today's video, we're gonna be going over the best excursions and activities that you can do on the four night Disney Dream Bahamian cruise. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I first wanna set you up with how you are able to book your excursions and activities in advance. So how it all works is that you're gonna be giving a booking window that is determined on your castaway membership level. That membership level is gonna determine how early you're able to book your excursions and activities. For first time guests, it's gonna be 75 days prior to the sale date. For silver castaway club members, it'll be 90 days gold castaway club members, 105 days and concierge guests and Platinum Castaway Club members, it's gonna be 120 days prior to the sale date. How you rank up in that club membership level is how many cruises you have booked through Disney. So the more you book, the higher you will be in that cast membership level. Wanna be aware of that because when that day comes, you wanna make sure that you are getting all the excursions booked that you wanna do while on your cruise. Now that we've got that all out of the way, let's get into all the different excursions and activities that are just awesome to do. The first activity that I recommend doing is getting a massage. Now, this is the first time that me and Amanda had ever done a massage in our entire life. And let me tell you, it was such a great thing to do. The massage experience that you get on the cruise was such an amazing experience, especially for someone that this is their first time ever having a massage. I will say they are very, very sensitive to you, making you feel comfortable and feel relaxed the entire time that you're there. I personally recommend if this is your first time ever getting a massage to do the Swedish massage. It's not as intense as what me and Amanda did, which was the deep tissue massage, which was an amazing experience for me and, and I would definitely do it again. But if you're somebody who really doesn't want to be dig into and really get those knots worked out, it can be kind of uncomfortable. Another thing about the massage that makes it unique is it's not just a massage. They really are taking their time to set things up for you to make sure that you get the best experience. I left that massage session feeling so rejuvenated, feeling ready ready to tackle anything and everything. It was just an amazing experience. I want a preference. Make sure that you book this as soon as you possibly can because this activity will sell out very fast. Tip number two is going to be the beverage tasting activities that you can do on the ship. And in this particular video, it's going to be the mojito and capanina beverage tasting. I hope I said that right. Please accept my apology if I didn't. What the mojito and capanina beverage tasting is, it's going to give you an hour to be able to recreate some of the most iconic mojitos and capanillas that are out there. On top of that though, they also will throw in some unique ways to recreate those drinks as well. So the overall cost for the beverage tasting is gonna be $35 per person, which is not that bad considering that you're gonna be able to enjoy seven drinks, which comes out to being about $5 per drink. And to me, that is not bad at all, especially because they do not skimp out on the alcohol. For me, why I enjoyed it so much was of course because of the cast members there. They really do an amazing job to make it more than just a tasting. They really go into diving in and telling the story of how the mojito became the mojito and how the capinina became the capinina and, and how that became to be. I never thought of these things. I thought just maybe some person threw things together and it ended up being what it was. Which, spoiler alert, a lot of the drinks that were made were actually used for medicinal reasons, which is crazy to me. They also show you the proper way of making it. The modeling, doing just different things that are going to make that drink the best drink that you possibly can. So overall, if you are into that, if you are obviously over the age of 21, definitely try that out because you will not regret it. The first excursion that I wanna go into that is the Castaway K Extreme Getaway Package. This specific excursion for us was an awesome thing to do, especially because it is a bundle and it's going to allow you to do so much at a discounted price. Now I want a preference. This is something that you have to book either before you get on the ship or while you're on the ship while supply lasts. If you get off the ship and are looking to purchase this particular package, it will not be available on the island. Now with this package, what you're gonna be getting is you're gonna be getting snorkel equipment, tubes that you can use while you're on the island, bike rentals, as well as the Castaway Stingray Adventure, which if you don't wanna do any of what I've just said before, you gotta do that. It's such an amazing experience. The total cost of this package is gonna be $88 for ages 10 and up, and it's going to be $67 for ages five to nine. For us, 
us, it was just an ease of mind. We got off the ship. We pretty much knew where we were going to be going and had our day mapped out for us. The only con to this particular excursion is that it really will eat away at all of your time on the island. And for us, we did kind of wish that we were able to just do other things that were free on the island, which I was able to do that, which you did end up seeing when you watched the Disney Cruise vlog. But I felt that it was a little bit rushed because we felt that we had to kind of cram everything in and really had to run around the island to try to get those things done that we wanted to do. And we weren't actually able to do everything in that bundle because we didn't have enough time with everything that we were trying to do. If you were not interested in doing this entire bundle in itself, I would definitely recommend doing Castaway Ray Stingray Adventure. Try saying that three times fast. Let me tell you guys, that was such an amazing thing for us to do. You get to feed them, you get to swim next to them, and just really get up close with them. I would highly recommend you doing that if you didn't want to do this entire package in itself. The next excursion that I want to go over that is going to be available to you when you're going to the Bahamas is going to be Blackbeard's Revenge Pirate Ship Adventure. Now, what this excursion is, is it's an hour hour and a half to two hours of you experiencing what it's like to be one of Blackbeard's pirates. It is available to anybody in the family. There's no age restriction, but the prices will change depending upon your age. For ages 10 and up, it'll be $69, and ages two to nine will be $29. This particular excursion was so fun to do. I mean, really, it was so unique in itself, and it really just captivated you and made you feel like you were a pirate. It was full of dancing and action and comedy even. It was just such an amazing time and it really involved everybody on that ship, no matter what age you were. You had a laugh if you were an adult. You had such a good time watching the kids just interact with the pirates and be part of the story and just really immerse yourself in the story of you becoming one of Blackbeard's pirates. My only con with this particular activity, and I don't know if it was because of the time that we we're going, and that is that if you book this excursion, you might not be able to go and explore the Bahamas after you do this excursion. For us, we were told that after we were done with that excursion, we had to get back on the ship. And if we did not get back on the ship after the excursion, we would have to quarantine for 24 hours. So that's the only thing that was kind of a bummer for us because I never been to the Bahamas and I wanted to experience it. But there is always will be another time for us and we will be doing this again. So I wasn't too shook up about that. If this is only the time you plan on doing this or if you really want to just explore the island, definitely make sure to check if that requirement is something that they're enforcing still. Next activity that I want to go over that is not something that you have to pay anything extra for, but I definitely want to point it out to you guys to do while you're on the ship, and that is the shows that they offer. Let me tell you guys, this is one of the best live action shows that I've ever seen in my life. On the Disney Dream Cruise, you have two shows that are currently being showed, and that is Believe and Beauty and the Beast. For me, Believe is a must do. You definitely have to see that if you can. And they do have it two times during your actual cruise. So if you missed the first one, don't panic. You can go ahead and watch it on the next time it's being shown. The next activity that I would recommend doing on the ship that is free is to watch a movie on the Funnel Vision. Now I wanna preference this. Mom, dad, if you're watching, let the kids stay up and watch a movie because it is such an amazing thing to do. Kids, Uncle Ty's got your back. Yay! I know, I know. Don't need to thank me. All I need you to do is make sure that mom or dad subscribes to this channel for more awesome videos like this. All right, we're good? Gotcha. It is just an awesome thing to do. And the cool thing about it as well is that they're not only just playing movies all the time, depending upon when you're actually going on the cruise and what's going on as far as sports are going, they will actually put on a game, which dads, come on, you're watching a game on a massive TV? What more can you ask for? So that's it. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And also check out this video, which is going to go over the 10 things I wish I knew before going on my first Disney cruise.